Hi, welcome to Paywin's Note. Today, we have the multi-talented, world-renowned violinist, conductor, and violist. He's the famous Julian Rockelin. Hi, Julian. Welcome Hi. to Taipei. Thank you. How many times have you been performing in Taiwan? I think this is my fifth visit fifth. to Taiwan, yes. You perform a beautiful Bach concert last night, and Bach is my favorite composer, and tell us about it that last night. One amazing concert. <laughs> uh, well, it was a very nice project from uh, the NTSO, orchestra from Taichung, mm -hmm. and um, I was performing with them the actually just a week before uh, two concerts, uh, one in Taichung and one in uh, Kaohsiung. That's right, you played Shostakovich. I did Shostakovich I one. I wish you could play there for us in Taipei. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully next time. next time. And then uh, they had the idea uh, to do a chamber music concert involving the musicians of the orchestra. So just a program with strings only. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we wanted to do a Baroque program. So um, to include the musicians of the orchestra, I thought it would be nice to do some double concertos by Bach. So it was an old Bach program, as you said, and uh, it was really wonderful to work with some of the musicians. We did the double concerto uh, for two violins, of course, the very famous one. And uh, also one of my most favorite pieces, the double concerto for violin and oboe with the principal oboe player, the double concerto for two violins with the concertmaster, with the leader of the orchestra, and uh, then the Bach Brandenburg number six, where I switched to viola, mm -hmm. and that was also with the leader. Oh, well. this is the first time I heard Julian play viola. It's incredible. It's, I didn't know. <laughs> and um, I used to play in the NSO in Taipei, so I was really impressed. One time you per you performed Sibelius Concerto, another time was the Brahms Concerto. Very, very impressive. Thank you very much. Do you remember much. those days? <laughs> yeah, I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was in the 90s, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, nearly 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us, what is it like growing as a child prodigy? You, 12 years old, you were already like a world famous violinist. Yeah, but I was not a prodigy, I was just a normal kid. And you're somehow, so you're so modest. Somehow it happened a little bit very early <laughs> for me to play, did to start Lo traveling. Did Laura Mazel discover you because you were kind of yes, you Mazel was to the, the Berlin yeah. Festival, right? Yes, and Mazel was the first who sort of took the risk to put me on a big stage. He discovered yeah, you was, in some concerts. And yeah, Mazel and Zubin Mehta and Maris Janssons. I think these were the three conductors which supported my Zuba sort of early steps from the very beginning. Made us speak highly of you that he said first time he okay. saw you you were just early teens. Yes, yes. So my first recording was with, with Zubin Meta. What concerto did you play? There was Sanson number three and Vinyavsky number two. That was in 1990. How old were you? 12? I was 15, I think, something okay. like this. Yeah. That's incredible. 